So much that I have to remember. Don't do anything stupid. Okay, wait. I can't speak with him, but I can. Uh. <coughs> oh man, this is, this is just all gonna end very, very, very badly. And this is the wedding, isn't it? This isn't fair. We were supposed to be up there. I'll never see another wedding like this. I don't know what you did with Tyrion Lannister that made Cersei want to punish you, but it never should have affected me like this. I'm so sorry. I had no idea any of this would happen. But what Tyrion Lannister did for me, it may have saved my family. I hope that's true, Mira. I really do, because you don't know how furious Marjorie is at you. When I was getting her dressed for the wedding, she was talking about who she could replace you with. <gasps> I probably shouldn't have even told you, but I suppose you have a right to know. Just be silent. I know this must be hard for you. It wasn't too long ago I was asking for your help with Marjorie, and what did you do? Now you know how it feels, being on the outside looking in. But I'm your friend, Mira. Always. If you want my help with Marjorie, just ask. Uh... Otherwise, Marjorie's going to make you leave King's Landing. You're pushing her to it, Mira. You're making a lot of drama out of nothing, Sarah. This will pass. Marjorie and I will be friends again. I'm not going anywhere. For your sake, Mira, I hope you're right. Serving a pie. Boy. We're missing everything. I know you. You were in the gardens the other night with Damien. Before he disappeared. I have a few questions to ask you. What were you doing there with him? Mira? Don't think I don't know it was you. Don't think I don't know think I don't know it was you. So what if I was with him? Seven hells. Hmm. That man may have just helped me. He doesn't look too happy. He looks constipated, as a matter of fact. Yeah, my frame rate sucks. I need a better computer. You <laughs> there. Go. I need a towel. I need a towel or a wet cloth, something. Lord Morgren. You'll need to find someone else. I'm not finished Are with her. Are you sick, man? Do you think I have time to bother with handmaidens? Release her or I'll have Queen Cersei find you another job. He needs to die. You just go follow. Yes. Well, I just ruined a perfectly good shirt to come to your rescue. No need to explain what that was all about. We all have our own mischief to hide. That was kind of you. I do appreciate it. Well, I didn't do it merely for your benefit. Then why? Perhaps I recognize a kindred spirit. It's not every little handmaiden who can steal an ironwood decree with the crown right out from under my nose. Consider me impressed. My partners, I am afraid to say, felt rather differently about it. You flatter me, my lord. I'm only saying you have potential, my lady. Your problem is, you still think like a handmaiden. Do you even understand why Tyrion gave you the ironwood deal? Because it wasn't out of the kindness of his heart. I'm no fool. He wants something from me. Access to Marjorie. Or perhaps he just knew he could get the cheapest diamond. Very observant. You are no mere handmaid. I remember what it was like to be new to this game. 
You feel like you're drowning, don't you? But there's no one you can really trust. What you need more than anything is an ally. I could be that for you, Lady Mira. Is that something you'd be interested in? And what exactly are the terms of this offer? What do you get out of it? A smart question. So, let me be blunt. Circumstances have put us at odds. But what if we were to work together? Control the price of ironwood together. Price fixing. We could I love get it. very, very rich together. Yeah. Or should I go back to Lord Whitebell? Who has proven to be very interested in it? It just became a very bad time to be linked to Tyrion Lannister. Tell me that you got that Ironwood decree from him before the wedding. Oh no. He said it was waiting for me on his desk. <sighs> what a shame. Such potential. I'm afraid any chance of our alliance has become quite impossible. You understand, Lady Mira. I can get it. I'll get it back from his chamber. That would not be an easy task. Especially now, but if it were to disappear, perhaps we could talk again. I may be able to pull this off. Damn! Northerners have luck, like, have, just have You have a luck. good head for business, Lady Mira. It'd be terribly disappointing to see it on the end of a pike. Uh, very true. do you think you're doing up here? What are you thinking? You've got to leave. Now. Tom, I'm in trouble. There's something inside I need to get. He looks northern. If I don't, Somebody's it's going to be a nightmare. Brown hair, whatever. Right. No, he's just a cold boy. If it's trouble really you're in, it'll be trouble for no. me too. So what do we do? <sighs> he's a lockpick. Five bucks. I have an idea. A terrace. The what? I could maybe climb across the roof and drop down onto the outside terrace. It's just... I don't know, Mira. Is whatever's in there really worth risking my life for? It's not just kings who die stupidly round here. If I fall, it's on your head. Just what do you think you're doing here? You shouldn't be anywhere near this place. Don't you know the imp has murdered the king? I... I was just... I just needed to get away. After everything that's happened, it was terrible. I'm sure you did. I'm not going to ask you again. Command you to open this door at once in the name of the king. You don't move. Okay. Tom, it's me. Hurry. I hope you don't think that was easy. I nearly broke my neck for you. Some tiles on the roof came loose. I almost lost my footing. Tom, we have to hurry. I'm looking for a piece of paper. A royal decree. Well, go on. 
Lannister guard could be back with help any second. He will I'll keep be watch outside the door. Five. Tom! You can do this. And then you can get away. I hope it doesn't make me search. He said that it would be on his desk. Oh, a Lannister seal. Mira, we're running out of time. We're running out of time. Nothing. Just a letter from Tywin Lannister. Oh, another bloody letter. It's the bill for the wedding. This is more money than I could spend in a lifetime. Tyrion's strongbox. Oh, it must be in here. Tyrion, I think the Lannister guard is back. Oh, it's the other one. Damn it! Hide! I find a way to distract them. She's gonna choose one. She's gonna next one. I'm telling you, I heard someone in here. Search the place. We'll find them. And after. Now that we've got the imp's keys, we can have a little look inside his lockboxes, eh? <laughs> Aye. Oh, I'm gonna get found. Can I kill him? Help! Fire! What the hell? Damn it! Come on! <laughs> I'm sorry. You do not get this lucky. You did it. How? I lit a tapestry on fire down the hall. I'll put you a minute, maybe two. Oh, thank you. Did you find it? It's in the strong I think, box. I think it has to be in here. It has to be. Oh, Just come on. One. Come on. This? Oh, thank the gods! Oh, I found it! Finally! Let's go! I'll just bugger her out. <coughs> just bugger her on out! Fuckers! I catch that bastard who. I'll bring their bloody neck! Oh my god! You know, if I had the knife, I could have killed him. Not You're not far now. I know. Gwyn Whitehill may already be there. What is this? Our ironwood trees. Mr. Whitehill, you see what they've done? My goodness gracious. This track was hundreds of years old. Before this is done, we'll make them pay. Every last one of them. I, the White Hills, need to answer for this. And Gwyn needs to answer for this. But we need to find out what she knows. She'll be over there. Be cautious, my lord. Uh, he should have a sword with him. If she go around her father to help us, she must have some purpose. I'll hear what she has to say, but I won't forget who she is. Good. You see what her family's done here? Here. You might want this. You may have known each other since you were children, but this could be a trap. Doesn't hurt to be careful. Go on. I'll stay with the horses. Not only that, but a man going to a meeting with a dagger is not unheard of in Naya, but it's it, it's smart. He actually is improving from the last episode. I just get close to the damn thing. Okay. Well, I remember 
them down there. By monsters and maidens with little names in them. Thank you. <laughs> okay. She's probably over in the building. Yeah, I don't need to plug in the grindstone. I see you haven't lost your warrior's ways. That's good. I wouldn't want to deal with someone careless. <laughs> Hello, Gwyn. Roderick. You saw my father's work over there, didn't you? There's no way to miss it. And he won't stop. He means to do that to every inch of your land. I have to stop this. It can't go on. I know. You have to trust me. I don't agree with my father's ways. <sighs> I wasn't sure you were even going to show. We're taking a risk, meeting like this. Did you bring anyone with you? Of course not. It's all right. <coughs> no one even knows I'm here. I think we can help each other. But first, I... I've heard news of Asher. That he plans to return to Ironrath. Why is he coming back? I loved him once. I longed for Asher to come back. But not like this. How do you know about my brother? That's... part of why I'm here. But I need to know you've come for the same reasons I have. I want peace between our families. No more wars. No more bloodshed. Oh, Is no. that what you want to? Oh god. I need to hear you say it, Waltrick. Will you work with me? I want to know the price before I agree to pay it. No fool. It seems that you are, because you clearly don't understand. Peace is the only hope your family has. I know exactly My what father is just waiting for an excuse to attack. Why do you think he sent my brother? So there will be trouble. My father will bring utter ruin on your house. Unless you let Griff feel like he's in control. I know you refuse to kiss my father's ring, but you would be wise to show more respect to Griff. I you don't know Griff silent. like I do. The dogs still whimper when he walks past the kennels. My lord, a band of riders approach from the north. Seven hills. My father's guards must be tracking me. If they catch us here, they'll kill you. Then we've no time to waste. Let's get on with it. My father is planning to make a move against your family. I don't know all the details, but he's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. I fear for your family, Roderick. You may think you've nothing more to lose. He is ready to show you otherwise. And what's more, he knows exactly how weak you are. What? How? Because you have a traitor in your council. Someone who knows every detail of your circumstances. It's My father mystery. boasts of it, and I've heard some of the reports. You must tell me, who is it? I don't know. We know you're planning to force Griff from your home, even if it endangers Ryan's life. What? My father's guards are close. I need to know you'll do what I've asked. Promise me you'll submit to Griff. If you want peace between our families, it's the only way. Just need to be uh, I can't promise this. If you won't give your word, that's just the same as saying no. There's been enough killing. I hope you do your part. Damn. My lord. My lord. My lord. Those riders are nearly upon us. We have to go. What I told you. Be careful what you do with it. And remember, I'll hear about it if you don't. Lord? Come along, Duncan. I would have thought she wanted to seal a peace by marriage with uh, Asher. Uh, <laughs> That was too much to hope for, I suppose. Dude, 
That's not cool. Mother. Roderick. Look at what's become I of us. I was say it's gotta be her. You were nowhere to be found and they just... Vile men! Where were you? We need you here to hold this house together. I've uncovered some troubling news. What's wrong? Lord Whitehill is plotting against us. I don't know his plans, but I fear them. And the only way he'll stop is if we submit to Griff's rule of our house. What? Would you really give up control of our house? Griff is already a torment. How much worse could it get? These are dire times, but I won't kneel to a whitel in my own house. Then don't kneel. Was this all? <clears throat> Did you learn anything more? You need to tell me. What I've told you is nothing compared to what else I've learned. There is a traitor in our house. On our council. No. This can't be. And all our plans to save Ryan, to save this house. Oh, God. Yeah. Roderick, who could have turned on us? I Times have been hard. But I never thought this would happen. I have to say, Master Ortengren worries me the most. Perhaps. But what about Roiland? Roiland? He was furious when Ethan didn't choose him as Sentinel. He wouldn't even show his face when Ramsay Snow came here. When the bastard murdered my poor son. She has a point. But it's hard to say without knowing where this news came from. It's bad enough having their soldiers in our house. But if you won't be open with me, then our problems run deeper. Get in there. Go and get in there. <laughs> 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 Ramsey was I'll here. Play it how I want. You will bend the knee to your liege lords. I must speak true. I haven't the balls to defy you, Lord Ramsey. Get out of my house now, all of you. Oh, look here. It's the new lord. You're in luck. We're just getting to the best part. <laughs> <laughs> Little Lord Ethan's final breath. Unless you want to play the Lord of House Forester instead. You can't do this. You can't do this. <laughs> we'll do as we please. Besides, we're not finished. You must stop. I know you've seen it before. Show some respect in my house. In my home. And that's what we're doing. Remembering young Ethan as he was. <laughs> oh, please, no! Say hello <laughs> to your father. Dirty my blade with your blood. Before this is over, your blood will join my brothers on that floor. So I hope this was all worth it. It'll be worth it when I pull this blade from your neck and see the life drain out your eyes. Oh, God, I ain't. I Make his mother no watch. Now we we'll really have some fun. Enough. Griff will do with him. When he's done, 
He'll own this fucking house. <laughs> and he'll have more than just words for you. Take your boy out of here while you still can. Boy out of here. Out of here. Yeah. While you still can. While you still can. Huh? While you still while you still can. Roderick! Roderick! Now is not the time. Unfortunately, she's right. He's not going to be the best fighter, I guarantee. Just because he's big and intimidating. I know the type. Dealt with him. Big and intimidating can be outwitted. Uh, here we are at the wall. Wendell, pack the extra rations. Duff, make sure the quivers are full and the torches are dry. This must be before the great now. Garrod. What's happening? We're heading north of the wall to deliver justice to brothers turned traitor. They're hiding in the woods at a place called Craster's Keep. Mm. I've been looking for volunteers. The cowards murdered Commander Mormon. We're going to kill every one of them. I'll volunteer. I'll volunteer to go. I thank you for that. I need every sword I can get. But Brit's going to. He took his vows in the set. He's a brother now. <laughs> oh, in the set. I sense. understand why you stand, why you hate him. But bad blood could jeopardize this mission. Too many unknowns out there. I can't have my own men killing each other. I'm a ranger now. I've left my past behind me, Brit included. Until you're standing next to him with a sword in your hand. That's the real test. Mm -hmm. If you do come, I need to know there won't be any trouble. Even if he provokes you. Can I count on you? I need your word, Garrett. I'll be taking a chance. I'm a man of my word. I won't disappoint you. I'll hold you to that. It's a hard road to Crestus. We leave tomorrow at first light. Now why don't you go talk to those two? They volunteered as well. Make sure they're ready. Dorf! Where are my arrows? Well, what did Jon Snow say? I don't think he likes us much. Definitely doesn't like you, Finn. He wants us ready for the march tomorrow. Just give the word. Tired of being under Frostfinger's boot all the time. You do know we're heading off to fight a band of murderers, right? That's why you bring a ranger. Point is, he doesn't want any problems with you going to Craster's. Well, it's something you should know then. <laughs> I, uh, borrowed this from you. <laughs> what? I just got curious. I wanted to know why your uncle was here. It never ends with you. Well, didn't mean no harm, honest. I just wanted a quick look. I wasn't stealing. You can't keep doing that, Cotter. Next time, ask. Well, I did try. And you, you just said your uncle was here about Ironwood. But I think it was something else. I noticed this part here. North Grove. That's just some shit story for little kids. A rumor. No, it's not. Of course it is. I heard it's a witch's den where they turn children into giants. Garrett, you don't actually take it seriously, do you? It's a fairy tale. For idiots. Everyone knows that. I didn't think you were that gullible. It's real, Finn. Aye. It says it's somewhere on the other side of the wall. See, I didn't think those two commoners could read. <laughs> oh, so you're both assholes and idiots, huh? Have fun chasing your tails. Good. Didn't need him anyway. What do you mean? He doesn't know about the mammoths. Or white walkers. Or how to sneak past a giant. What, and you do? Do you know? This. The things you hear about. The rumors is all. I wouldn't know myself. How could I? Rumors my ass. You're hiding something, Cotter. I'm not. 
They're just things I hear around Castle Black's so all. People talk, you know. That is true. Not about the North Grove, they don't. But you do? Probably heard you talking about him. Or, or maybe one of the recruits. Don't make me regret lying about the knife for you, Cotter. Tell me what you know. All right. All right. I've been on the other side of the wall, Garrett. You see, I, I live there, in the north. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. I know. That I makes know it's sense. Crazy. I, I was with some other free folk. We were looking for weapons south of the wall. We got caught. So, so I passed myself off as a local. And, well, well, they sentenced me here to Castle Black for stealing. I shouldn't be here. This isn't my place. I didn't know what else to do. Are you putting me on, Cotter? I wouldn't <coughs> joke about that. They'd kill me if they found out. Are we... Are we still friends? Of course. I, mean, I know it's a lot to take in. Don't worry. Bloodthirsty wildling or not, we're still brothers. That is good to hear. <laughs> At least when Mance Raider wants to boil you alive, you'll know someone in high places. <coughs> what did I say? That shit house you fixed is still leaking. I'll be right there. That would actually make sense. I'm going free back folk. home. No matter what, Garrett. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. You know where the North Grove is? No. But I'll help you find it. I'm deserting anyway. Heading back home. I can guide you, keep you alive. Stick with me and I'll show you the way. Plenty of things out there want to kill you. Others want to eat you. I don't understand. Why would you want to help me? The North Grove has nothing to do with you. I've got my own reasons for going. Cut her! Now! This is insane. Now! Now! Uh, on the way! I feel like I'm gonna Please, fail this mission. Don't tell anyone about me. The watch would kill me if they found out. What the hell? Now I can actually believe the free folk thing. Let's. Oh, so we're gonna go back to King's Landing now, I bet. Well, maybe not. I don't know. We haven't seen anything from him. That's Marine, yeah. Oh, unsullied. Marine still smells like shit, even outside the walls. We'll find Croft here, somewhere. Yeah. <sighs> You're right. <sighs> Never better. <laughs> Back under the Mad King, they used to say death by sword was a sweet kiss, but fire would fuck you hard. Funny. No. No, not very. I'll go find Croft's tent. Asher, I need you to tell me the truth. I've come a long way to bring you home. Back in that cave, you made a choice. You must have thought only one of us was going to survive. Now, it's not a fair question to ask, but I need to know. I've been fighting side by side with Beska for four years. She has saved my life more times than I care to admit. I owe her. Thank you for being honest. But she's not family. <sighs> Sorry, have you ever heard of a blood Look, debt? I can't dead. blame you if your feelings about me are conflicting. Or your feelings about going home. Your family exiled you to this place. 
but I swore an oath to your mother. Sailed halfway around the world to bring you back safe. I'll be damned if some dragon fire or your foul decisions are going to stop me. Are we clear? I'm here to help you. I understand and I know what's important. My family comes first. That's good to hear. But words are wind, Asher. It's choices that define who we are. Asher, I know where Croft is. This Croft, how well do you know him? Too, Too well. well. I thought you said you were friends. Yeah, we are. We are. Great friends. That's not very good for Master fucking Forrester. Son of a poxy whore. You have some balls walking into my tent after all these years with that mama's monkey grin on your face. Well, that went well. All right, maybe I deserve that. That's not even a taste of what you deserve. You never understood consequences, Asher. One stupid mistake cost me an eye. But you never learned. You figured you'd steal from me and I'd just forgive you. <laughs> not a fucking chance. So how are you going to pay me back? Your eye? Your hand? Or how about your tongue? Croft, no! Be reasonable! I am reasonable! I'm letting him fucking choose! Fuck off me, Croft! I'm not playing your games! This is no fucking game, Asher. Croft, I deserve your anger as much as Asher. Don't worry, Beska. You're next. Now choose, or I slice off your balls, Asher. Hey, a hey, man hey! Betrays my trust. There's a price. Stop this! Let him go. You fucking bastard! Take my eye, then. I don't need two to kill you. Done. <laughs> oh, that was bloody beautiful, fucking Asher. You were pale as a oh. snowbeard's ass. Oh. <laughs> are, you, are you fucking joking? You bloody bastard. <laughs> this is why people steal your shit and take off in the night. Come on, you assholes. Have a drink. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I just chose to Go get it over with. The Khaleesi's best wine. Your friend has an interesting sense of humor. So what in seven hells are you two doing here on the arse end of the earth? You're a long way from young guy. We have a proposition for you. We need an army, Croft. My home back in Westeros is under siege. We need your hellhounds. A hundred good men. And fucking in a hobby's tip would I ever go back to Westeros? I've got it good right here. Her grace pays good coin. My house is rich, Croft. When this war is won, I'll pay you. More gold than you've ever seen. <laughs> Lord Asher! A fucking highborn thief! Not a chance in seven hells would I believe a promise from you. In just a minute, he speaks the truth. Aye. Well, it's not up to me. The second sons are sworn to Daenerys Targaryen. I've laid my sword at her feet. For now. Perhaps we could talk to him. She's a little busy right now, commanding a fucking siege. Her enemies are nailing children up on posts for a hundred miles, and a bloody dragon's gone missing. <laughs> but I know where to find her dragon. Ha! <laughs> Unfucking likely. You expect me to believe you just happen to have seen the one fucking dragon loose in the world? Black scales all over with a red frill running down his back. That doesn't prove anything. Enough of this nonsense. We're done here, Asher. I've got proof, you old fuck. Tell me what this is, if not a bloody dragon tooth. Uh, I wouldn't know a dragon tooth from a basilisk dick. She's shown him Croft. I've seen her dragon. Uh, uh. Should have shown him the burn marks, because that's believable. Oh, bugger me with a bloody spear. If you're lying about this... Fair enough. Come on, you son of a bitch. The beast's name is Drogon. She'll want to hear about him right away. 
and don't think you're going to charm her with that fucking Asher grin. Well, I should have. Please stay in Marine. I want to see Daenerys or speak with her. Nope, we're going back somewhere. King's Landing, I suppose. Oh, I'm on the wall. must be pissing yourself thinking about what we'll find out there tomorrow. Assuming you're not too busy looking for your North Grove. I thought you didn't believe in it. Not saying I do. But if it was real, can you trust Potter with it? You ask me, is there something off about him? Aside from him being an oily thief, I mean. Like he's holding something back. Potter's not a bad sort. <coughs> Even after he tried stealing your map. So you'd rather be friends with a thief than someone who might save your life out there. Don't come crawling to me when the wildlings attack. Finn, <laughs> get back on watch until your relief arrives. They're late. You think Mance Raider is going to wait for them? Right. Asshole. And Tuttle, you've got torches that have gone out. Keep them lit. Let the wildlings know we're still home. Is that they can see up here. Like this. Duncan brought these from Ironrath. Wonder if I'll ever see it again. No, you won't. Alright, see, use one. That's ironwood for sure. Okay, what do you want me to do with the brazier? Don't look at it too deeply. Oh, man could freeze to death up here. So north, what do you expect? If anyone tries coming over the wall, well, those will stop them. <laughs> yeah, damn straight. I guess I can go down here. So, I wonder who's riding it. Seven hundred feet. Solid ice. This won't be melting anytime soon. <laughs> damn straight. Light the damn day. I almost missed that. Is there another on the light? No, they're all through the light. mile wall and you're still in my way I figured we'd settle things on the way to Craster's but this is even better Jon Snow can't hold your hand now I don't have any time for you anymore Brett. I hate you you hate me now let's move on I had something more painful in mind I did duty to my lord back on that bloody farm if we're doing a proper job of it what I get? Banished to the fucking wall! I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first. 
like a pig. Seemed only fair he should feel what it's like. Near the end, he could barely breathe. Kept begging us to leave your sister alone. So I made sure he was still alive when she started screaming. It was the last thing your father ever heard. The more we sliced, the worse it got. Shrieking. You're not worth it. I didn't come here to chat, you fucking cunt. Too bad your father didn't fight like that. I'd still be alive. And I thought you were going to make this easy. Stop, damn it! I don't want to fight you! What's the matter? Don't you want to make your father proud? Let's see if you scream like your sister. <laughs> You got lucky, pig farmer. You're going to slaughter me. Like my man back at your farm. At least let me have my sword. Keep it interesting. Or are you afraid? I swore my vows. I won't kill a brother. You're fucking pathetic, Tuttle. Fucking finish it. Go on. Don't piss yourself on the way down. I'm gonna lose my head for that. You really gave me no choice. Now clean your fucking sword off quick. choice. I know I know this game is scripted, but it would have ended like that too. It's raining. Okay. My lord, our people are starving. I'm afraid. The White Hills have driven them away from the ironwood groves. Out of the way. And so they come to us, looking for food. Food we don't have to spare. How can we support an army and retain our position in the north if we can't even feed the people we see before us? It's like the dead of winter's come. And it doesn't look like it's getting better. These are hard times, to be sure. Harder than I've ever seen. But I'll do whatever it takes to get us through it. Well, I hope we can figure something out. As long as the White Hills are in our house, we have to be careful. Come on, you! Let me go! 
You can't do this! God! You're here! Look! Look at this! Did you see what this girl did? She attacked my man like an animal! Well, he bit me! Yeah, now it's her turn! She's gonna get what she has coming to her! This won't go unpunished! Let go of me! I don't care if she's your sister! He deserved it! You'll do no such thing! I won't allow it! No such thing! I won't allow it! That's not for you to decide! I saw him stealing from our kitchen, and I told him to stop. He laid his hands on me, so I bit him. Bloody wench! I was only doing what had to be done. I warned you not to mistreat my men. Someone will have to answer for this. Do you hear me? Your men are out of control. That's the problem here. It's your people who don't know the order of things. This girl's as untamed as a wildling. Don't listen to him, Roderick. And if you can't rein her in... Yeah, wh what about the rest of them? It's about time she saw a real lord again. You afraid of a young girl with all the armed soldiers you are? What? Have? I'm not afraid! I, I want order! But this house is in a shambles. And the problem starts at the top, Roderick. Careful, boy. You yourself had the gall to make threats against my men. And that's the real problem with you foresters. You're too fucking proud. Always have been. It was bad enough when you were above us. And now it's even worse. Because you don't see how far you've fallen! Still high enough to look down at you. Wait. Forgive her. Forgive her. The passions of youth. No one questions your authority, Griff. You have the power. Oh, I like him. You thought this was your man, Roderick? I He's think. mine. A dog to be sure, but my dog. That's how I like to see you, foresters. Obedient servants, eager to please your master. <sighs> Oh, foolish Roderick. Now I'll have to put you in your place. You will learn some fucking humility. Oh, this won't be the last lesson I teach you, foresters! Have you no honor? I'll run your throat for that. I'll cut you down like straw men. I'm fine, Roy. I'm fine. I'll handle this. Even broken, he's twice the man you are. I bet this makes you angry, eh? You probably want to get up and hit me. But we know how that would go, don't we? Now, are you gonna are you gonna be a good little forester? Learn your lesson and stay down. Roderick! I'm sorry. This is gonna end badly, but you have to get up. I will not yield. You Bloody snot! Why don't you fucking get it? Get up, Roderick! Stay down, my lord. Your brother Ethan didn't know his place either. Ramsay Snow taught him good. Talia here will meet the same end. Unless you're a good little forester. You learn your place and stay down. Some forester is gonna learn their lesson today. I'm getting back up. Don't you dare! You stay down! Stay in the mud like a dog! This is my place! You fool! My lord! What?! Bloody cripple! Are you fucking deaf? You! You'll never keep the foresters down! Hold there! Or you're next! <coughs> Please, Lord Griff, not the arm! If you persist, Lord Roger may lose it! Now, stay down! 
Tell me! Will you be a good little forester? <sighs> you can't. I command you! Let him alone! I'll do as I like! This again, in death. You! You should fear me! I'm in charge here! Have you had enough, Griff? We don't need. Don't think this is over, Roderick! You'll see! I will make you suffer for this! Trust in that! My boy. Careful, he's badly injured. Roderick, you didn't let him do it. He couldn't keep you down. You were brave, but there will be consequences, my son. I you know. both know that. Now, the scene on the wall, that was the one chance I didn't want to kill somebody. <laughs> One time I don't want to kill somebody, I have to kill them. <coughs> so far, this is really, really good. I'm really liking it. Oh, let's see what happens at King's Landing. But where are we going to end? I'd love to see this in a sh in the show. You see that? Standing up to Griff has made him harsh. More severe. He could have killed you. But what you did, the strength you showed us. You looked like yourself again. I couldn't just stand by and let Griff punish you. Damn the consequences. And I'd do it again. A thousand times. I know you would. And when you're better, things will be different. I asked Ethan not to change who he was. I tried to make him promise me. I now know that was childish of me. I'm ready to change now. I'm willing to do anything to help our family. I mean it, Roderick. I don't care what. That's good. I'm sure a time yeah. will come when our house will call upon you to do what's necessary. But that time is not now. And I'm sure the others will do whatever it takes as well. What you did, provoking Griff, it, ha yeah. it hasn't taken our house to war just yet. But... No one can know the future. Whatever tomorrow brings, Talia, the foresters will stand tall. I did it. I can't believe it. What are you waiting for? Keep it in. I can't. Place. After everything, we just... I can't burn it. The Khaleesi will see you now. <laughs> I like this. Try to keep your head about you. So, Asher Forrester, if you presume to speak of my dragons, choose your words carefully. Uh, yes, Khaleesi. Is that the episode? I think that was the episode. 
That was good. Oh god. <laughs> I think Daenerys will be better than... Oh, next time. This ought to be interesting. Oh, I can finally just sit here and actually relax and not try to sort by... On the bright side, I didn't die this time. Next time on Game of Thrones. What have you done, Garrett? Frostfinger is calling for your head. Tell me Grit's death was an accident. Mira, what are you doing? Mira, <coughs> just tell me what's going on. What are you hiding from me? We are weak. We have no allies. And Griff will make us pay for your defiance. There's been a raven from Lord Whitehill. He's invited us to High Point. Drogon wouldn't have attacked without reason. By order of the Queen. I Fuck you and your Queen. Deal with your friend. With your friend. A friend. Nothing ever stays in the pond, Stashon Stasha. Garrett. It's time to go. Oh no, so they're going to make us desert. Oh, fucking shit. This is not going to be... This is not going to end up crazy. Yeah, that's... That's going to be interesting. Okay. Another ambiguous decision. Yeah, I can see a lot of people wanting to make him suffer for it. That's understandable. It's probably going to creep back to more of a 50-50 thing. I just thought, you know what? I don't want to deal with him anymore. <laughs> you and 30. Yeah, I'm actually surprised at not many people. Yeah, most of us are going to keep it. That's going to be the death of us for damn sure. So, anyway, that's episode three. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I like that one. I like that image. I think he should have gone. I, I think it was just better to do it that way. Anyway. See you all in the next episode. Till then, see you.